thank I want to thank Pat Hill, DPW Commissioner. I want to thank Tim, Tim Carpenter. Um, this is this is a really wonderful, wonderful, wonderful addition to all the beautiful uh, trees that we have here. We also have a plan in the not too distant future to uh, put some wonderful color all around the perimeter of City Hall, different types of species, from hydrangea to hosta. It's going to be beautiful. So again, today I want to thank uh, everybody for being here. Uh, Arbor Day planting trees brings many, many benefits. Of course, we know it reduces energy use, it minimizes flooding from the storm run water runoff, it reduces uh, what we see in major cities, the urban heat island, uh, which is again caused by large areas of open pavement, does reduce our carbon monoxide uh, output at all. But the city of Brockton um, recently concluded, but the Department of Conservation and Recreation here in Boston, DCR, was in the city of Brockton and it planted 2,620 trees over three years, free of charge to residents and business owners. So again, we want to thank the state, we want to thank the state delegation that have always advocated for the city of Brockton. Uh, but today, the Arbor Day Foundation in partnership with the U.S. Forest Service and the National Association of State, state Foresters has de designated Brockton, Massachusetts Brockton, Mass, and City of Champions as Tree City USA, in honor of our commitment here in the city of Brockton over the last several years to plant trees. Again, it's uh, a wonderful, wonderful endeavor. So I'm going to proudly read the proclamation. The fact that we still have the Consul General here is a special, special thing. Thank you, Madam Consul. In 1872, J. Sterling Morton proposed to the Nebraska State of Nebraska Board of Agriculture that a special day be set aside in our nation for planting trees. Whereas this holiday became known as Arbor Day, it was first observed with the plantings of more than a million trees in Nebraska. Whereas Arbor Day is now recognized throughout the entire world and specifically in the United States of America. Whereas, again, trees can reduce the erosion of our precious topsoil by wind and water, cut down on the cooling costs and heating costs, Moderate, moderate the temperature, clean the air, produce life-saving and life-giving oxygen, and provide habitat for our wildlife, birds, and the like. Whereas trees are renewable resources, giving us paper, wood for our homes and fires, fuel for our fires, and countless other wood products. Whereas trees in our city of Brockton increase property values, enhance the economic vitality of our business area, downtown area, and in essence, just beautify our city. Trees, wherever they are planted, are a source of joy and spiritual renewal. Now, therefore, I, Robert F. Sullivan, as mayor of our city of Brockton, proclaim today, April 28th of the year 2023, as Arbor Day in our city of Brockton, and we will proudly, proudly plant this, and it will grow for generations to come. I'm going to ask the council general to help us. I'm going to ask the councilors to stay with us and help us. everybody. Right. Next year we'll have a different type of species tree, but again, for those, for those in our uh, Angolan population and community, thank you for what you do each and every day to better Brockton. We are better with you. Let's continue to work together. God bless each and every one of you. Thank you.